The ancient Shropshire town of Ludlow, on the English-Welsh border, was a borough as far back as the 13th century. Towns were evidently cheap in the early days, for in 1450, 12 burgesses were granted the town by Edward IV at the enormous fee of 24 pounds, three shillings and fourpence. The feature of Ludlow is, of course, its massive castle, begun by the Lord of Ludlow, one Roger de Lacy. With what pomp and ceremony must be the original inhabitants of the castle have passed through this gateway eight centuries ago. The Norman keep was built soon after William the Conqueror landed. Next year it will form the setting of Ludlow's pageant, roughly 850 years later. The chapel is considered an exquisite example of early 12th century art. Castles had to supply two needs, a home and a defensive organization, and they were built to command the country all round. Looking from the keep, we can see that nothing could approach the castle unseen. Over 800 years ago, Ludlow became a walled city with entrances through seven gates. Only one of these now remains. Wherever you go, there are ancient buildings, but one of the great charms of Ludlow is in the old timbered houses including one of the most elaborate of the timbered and plaster type in the country. This reader's house forms a part of the salary of the assistant to the rector, a post created by Edward VI. A wonderful old town, built at the junction of the rivers Teem and Corv. Truly are they rivers of history.